Sam Martin may be one of the best watches you can buy from AliExpress. And today I want to share with your watch that may be one of their best value watches currently on offer. Hello, you're watching James. My name's James, you're watching me, and I'm talking about watches. And today I'm going to be talking about a homage watch from Sam Martin from AliExpress. And not everybody loves homage watches. Some people do love homage watches. But for me, homage watches tend to be really good sometimes when you don't want to spend that money on the original watch. Where it becomes a little bit tricky is when the original watch is actually affordable, or at least attainable. And today's 62 mass homage, well, the original is attainable. However, for me personally, that original watch is still not quite worth the money for me personally. I can't stretch myself for that watch at that price. Not to say the original is not worth the money, it probably is, it's probably fantastic, but it's not the right watch for me at that money. And that's why this San Martin, this homage to that original watch makes a lot of sense to me. It also is going to be a very good quality watch because San Martin are really good quality watches. I've owned lots of them and I assume this one is going to be just as good. Now this one I didn't actually buy myself. AliExpress themselves, the marketing department of the AliExpress platform, reached out and said, hey, would you like a couple of watches to sort of bring some attention to AliExpress? And I said, yeah, that'd be great. And this is one of the watches they offered me. And because of that, you would have seen that sponsored icon pop up. But because of that, it's not actually from one of the specific stores. So I'm not actually showing you one of the watches from a store. It's actually from AliExpress themselves. But what I am going to do is I'm going to leave a link to the San Martin official store, which is where I tend to buy all the San Martin watches that I have bought in the past. And these ones, they cost 335 Australian dollars outside of a sale period. And for me, that's a really good price, especially for San Martins. I think that is actually the perfect balance because great quality watches, but AliExpress watches, but reasonably priced. As soon as it goes much beyond that, I then start to consider other watches from other areas, but this sort of 300-ish price range, for me, is spot on. And this watch, I think, might be one of their best watches because of that price range, but also because of the looks and the quality. But let's flip the camera around now. Let's check out this San Martin watch. So the San Martin SN007, this is one of their older models, and therefore you get some of their older packaging, but you're still getting their sort of information a warranty card, hang tags, and of course we're gonna get the watch. And I think it is a watch that is well worth considering because on paper, there's a lot going on with this one. Sapphire crystal with lots of AR coating, NH35 Seiko movement, an enamel dial and enamel bezel insert, which I think is really, really cool. And this particular watch, because it's been out for some time, lots of people have bought it, and there's been lots of customer re reviews on the San Martin official store, and all of them are very positive. I think this is a really cool watch, and other people think the same thing. And apart from it being a well-made and reasonably priced watch that also looks good, it's got a great set of dimensions, because the case itself is 39mm. The bezel does stick out a little bit more, though, taking it up to 39.9mm. The width of the watch is 13.2mm. Lug to lug is 47.5 millimeters, lug width of 20 millimeters, and unsized, all the links in, 167 grams. Now, I didn't choose which variation that I got of this watch, and I'm certainly not complaining because it was a watch that was provided to me. But the one that was provided to me has a blue dial with a black bezel, but there's a couple of other options as well because there's a black, almost a gray dial with a black bezel, and also a green version, green dial with a black bezel. And you can get it on this bracelet here or get it on these sort of rubber straps. The quality does really stand out with this watch and it stands out when you're looking at that dial because this blue, albeit probably not the one that I would have chosen, it looks incredible. It's a really muted sort of blue, but there's also some printing on there. Obviously automatic 200 meters. There's a minute track with some little extra markers at the hours. But then everything else is applied, including that San Martin logo and those indices with a huge amount of loom inside. The hands are a standout feature. They are finished really well and they also look good. And they are also full of loom. Let's show the loom now because this is really impressive. San Martin does do some good loom, but this one 
really does stand out beyond other watches from Sam Martin that I've experienced. At the three o'clock we're there, we've got the date window. Now it's not color matched, so it's just white, and I think on all the different color variations it's the same, but it does have a really nice polished outside or applied sort of frame there. And it's covered by this double domed sapphire crystal. There's only a slight doming to it, so it's a real gentle dome, but it looks really nice. And there is a huge amount of AR coating. So if we try and get the light on there, you can see that it's really working quite well. So it is quite legible when the light sort of hits it like that. And we've got this enamel dial, which is really nice. It makes it sort of feels like a real deep, sort of strong, emotional color almost. And the same is used on the bezel inside. And it really feels quite nice here. Rather than being dull, it feels a little bit more shiny. But it's got a nice sort of coin edge as well, so it's really nice to grab hold of. It is a 1 in 20 click unidirectional bezel, lines up nicely, and has a really nice solid stiff bezel action. I really like it. It's like the perfect amount of resistance because you can grab it, move it, but you can't then move it like that. But you also then can't accidentally bump it. Very nicely done. Now the case itself has a mixture of surfaces. On the tops of those lugs there, it is a circular brushing and then it transitions straight across to a nice polish. On the other side, we've got an unguarded crown with the San Martin logo. Plenty of knurling there, very nice and easy to grip hold of. And because this one has 200 meters of water resistance, it is screwed down. And because it is the Seiko NH35 movement, it does have hand winding. And of course, it does also have hacking. Every San Martin, I say the same thing about the bracelets, and that is that they are very, very nice. Solid, solid end links, screw links this one's all brushed on the top polished on the sides it just has a really nice substantial feel to it and they're just made really well it does surprise me like the original of this watch how much it costs when a watch like this from saint martin can be made at this sort of level of quality and be so much cheaper the clasp is one of their slightly older clasps now but i'm actually okay with that i quite like this style of clasp plenty of micro adjusts there being four double pusher all milled interior and just a very simple case back with not a lot going on there no specifications or anything just a plain case back a really nice watch well made well presented and something that i think might be a little bit special and of course these dimensions are going to sit very nicely on my six and three quarter or around about 17 centimeter wrist both the diameter of the case but also that lug to lug, it really does sit down nicely. And I guess the case shape as well does really sort of suit my wrist size, and I think would suit a lot of people's wrist sizes, even smaller and certainly bigger than mine too. But what do I like about this one? What don't I like about it? And what would I change? And that's going to be an interesting one because there's a lot to like about this one. Certainly the quality, certainly the sizing, the bracelet, always a standout feature to me. Those hands, in particular the finishing on the hands, very nicely done and really does sort of lift the watch from being a good watch to a great watch. Those little details I do find make a big difference and that loom is spectacular. Really there's not that much to dislike about this one. I personally probably would have gone for the black dial with the black sort of bezel insert. It would have been my preference and I guess the case back, well it's a little bit plain. I guess I can't dislike it but I guess it would be nice to have something a little bit there. And that really is probably one of the only things I would change. But I guess oh, I think some people might also would like the sort of new uh, adjustable clasp that San Martin has. So perhaps they may update this one, but I don't actually think it's all that necessary on this particular watch. Guys, I've really enjoyed this watch. I really enjoyed having some hands-on experience with it. And if you've enjoyed this particular video, you may well enjoy these ones next.